Hello, um, this tutorial I'm going to show you how to activate the motion blur inside Arnold. So the first thing uh, I have to show you is that I have this uh, sphere animated from left to right. And just to show you uh, how the motion blur is working, I have a couple of lights here. So if I go to right about the middle of the animation, which is the most uh, fast, uh, the fastest uh, keyframe, fastest move, movement of the ball, and uh, if I go to Arnold render, renderer and the motion blur tab here, and click enabled, uh, you're gonna see that if I make interactive render that I have the motion blur activated if I disable and now it's without motion blur so the way I can control the length of the motion blur is by changing the length attribute of the shutter angle so if I make it smaller you can see that there's a small motion blur simulating the the uh, the time speed of the camera. If I make it larger, you're gonna see that we can have like a larger motion blur too. Also, if um, I create uh, some AOBs, well, here I have the diffuse and the diffuse albedo. Uh, leave the diffuse albedo here. And uh, and I uh, re render here. Now you're gonna see that uh, if I import import the image here, and I go to the diffuse albedo. Oops, I'm gonna reload that. You're gonna see that. The motion blur is also applied to the to the um, to the LV. So if you want to add the motion blur inside Maya inside Arnold, you can do it this way. Although I would recommend to make a vector motion blur, which uh, you can check the tutorial I have for that. But yeah, thank you very much.